Welcome to Cameron House Marina, I'm Ruben from Marine Scotland. This is a 2008 Monterey 275 Sports Cruiser. She's an economical weekend vessel thanks to her Volvo Penta D3 diesel engine. Accommodates four, has heating, hot water, chart plotter, head facilities, all the good things that you would possibly want and you can then tow it behind a medium sized family car thanks to its beam. Previous owner was a road engineer, so he has kept the boat in absolutely mint condition. Mint. Anyone I've taken down to this has just said, wow, it is fantastically, fabulously kept. At the transom here on the extended swim platform, we have Flexi Teak. We also then have two davits on either side and a reboarding ladder off to the starboard side. Transom shower just as we enter in. And then let's take a look in at the cockpit. And just before we go in, we have a fishing rod holder on the port side, also one on the starboard. I've rolled the canvas up just so I can demonstrate that. They've gone with the darker flexi teak flooring option here. You can see the outline for the engine bay in there. And then it's the lighter option just on the steps up to the bow. Now we'll come on to that area later on. The port side consists of our wet bar. Now if I sit down, you can see just above the Eglo cool chest, we have one of the speakers for the onboard stereo system. That helps you get up if you don't have your sea legs with you on the day. Cold water shower, cup holder, and then a drained well also. Table is removable. You can also then actually move this seat, slide that back, and that turns us into a day bed for the day. They split in the middle, they push down, and then the bolster actually flips up to protect the instruments at the helm position. And if I move back here, to the back of the boat you can see you've got two nice lounging areas and the heating diesel heating does come up through into the cockpit there's a specific vent for it that means the kids will probably be more than happy in the summertime to sleep out here on this under the stars perfect with that back up we see the helm is twinned right next to an aft lounger the thickness of the cushion is good it's very comfortable and it's always fixed so it's in that fixed reclined position we've got a grab rail down there in case you're doing any sharp turns and then cup holders recessed into the mold onto the helm position so if we push the bolster down we've again got two cup holders just below the throttle here Navionics or navigation wise we've got a standard horizon that's a plotter and it's also a fish finder so as, I, as you can see now I've got it in the fish finder setting our main central feature is the Garmin GPS map 750 so that's a, a touch screen plotter with GPS as well just below is our VHF radio here this is our control for the spotlight on the bow rail bow thruster what an addition that is to have especially if you're a novice it always comes in handy trim tabs and then our engine instruments neatly displayed in front of us in typical Monterey fashion access out into the bow is over those flexi teak steps and then out the splitting windshield zip up the canopy and you have your bow four deck sunbathing cushions not much sunbathing going to be done today let's take a look downstairs in at the saloon the fantastic condition of the vessel is probably most evident when we come down here into the living, aqu uh, living accommodation and the saloon. No bad smells, upholstery all good, flooring is clean. This is exactly the way that the current owner left it for us. So we've not had to do any cleaning work to it at all. No evidence of damp coming in through any of the windows, no condensation. Everything works exactly the way it should. Let's start off with the galley. So we have a single electric burner, microwave just above that, stainless steel hot and cold sink, and then a fridge with a small freezer compartment stocked with the nation's favorite drink. Just up by our left hand, we have a Kenwood stereo. There's also a CD player on that and then our 12 volt AC and also 220 volt, sorry, 220 volt AC and 12 volt DC panel. And while we're on the subject of speakers and stereos, just flanking either side of the television in those shark finned fabric areas, you can see just on this side here, we have on both of them our speakers. Now this is probably your main entertainment area as the light dims and the night draws in. You can probably get five or six around the table. It will also drop to turn this into a double bed. What I like is we've got these removable armrests or movable armrests. So if you want to sit there, you can put one on either side of you and it gives you the home comfort of being sat in an armchair. Quite a nice little feature of that. I've never seen that before. Storage underneath this in its entirety. Let's sit round up at the bulkhead and just take a quick look back. It's always nice to see. Perfect. Control for the onboard heating system is just here up against the bulkhead where the toilet is. And then let's drop this down and we'll turn it into its double bed setting. 
Your accommodation space then doubles. You have space for another two people to sleep. You can also move each of these little armrests and use them as pillows for your guests. Or you may want to actually just use these, set this down in the sofa bed setting, lie back and watch a film on the television. Up to you. Let's get this back. Excellent. Moving into the bulkhead, an electric quiet flush sea toilet. There's also a waste tank fitted to the vessel as well. Toilet roll holder with a cover on it, which means that you can use this as a wet head by pulling out the tap faucet. It clips into there just next to the mirror and you can use this as a shower. There's a drain just on that side to pull the curtain across. That does the job. Hot and cold water, a ledge above for your toiletries, access to the wiper motor just above and then a mirror just for your vanity, also one on the door here as well. Then finally, in the saloon area, looking back aft into the aft cabin area. It is well insulated thanks to the fabric and also feels quite bright again thanks to the fabric colours. An opening porthole just here. You don't get a true representation of the height that you actually have in here because there's probably about six inches worth of bedding sitting on top of that. So it doesn't give you a true accurate representation. But again, it's very, very clean. Let's finish up with the engine. Inside an engine bay clean enough for Gordon Ramsay to license one of his kitchens in houses our Volvo Penta D3 190 horsepower diesel engine. Now the timing belts have been done on this very recently um, and every single year it's been serviced, winterised exactly according to schedule. Just on top of the tread plate, you can see the sticker that is effectively showing you that the timing belts were done. But a super, super clean engine bay. And I know the gentleman very well. And this is exactly what I expected from him. The boat is running perfectly. Now, if we just quickly move up and round onto the bow, you can see we've got loads of fenders on this side. We've got fender baskets up here as well. An electric anchor winch, your spotlight. And then I know we're not going to be doing much sunbathing on a day like today, but it's nice to have a four deck bathing cushion. I'm Ruben from Marine Sales Scotland. We're fun in the water, big ends.